Hi, welcome back. In this lesson 8, we will learn about the difference between new users and returning users. Now, this is again something that a lot of people get confused about how Google increments the new users count and the returning users count. So in this lesson, we would do some study on how Google increments new users and returning users. Now, before we get into deep dive, before we get into deep study, what I want to do is I wanted to give you an overview so that you'll have a better idea. Now, see, Google Analytics identifies a user based on the client ID that we have discussed already in the first video. So if you don't know what is client ID, I would recommend you to go watch the first video in this playlist where I've spoken about underscore GA cookie which will store the Google Analytics client ID. Now, so whenever user comes to my site or whenever user comes to a site, what browser does is it sends a page view hit to server, analytics server. Along with the page view hit, it will also send something called as a client ID. And now, when Google Analytics server receives client ID, it knows that this user is not a new user, he is a returning user and all the interactions, all the page views will be assigned to the same session, right, or the same user. If a hit is sent to analytics server and analytics is not able to identify the client ID. And analytics knows this guy is not a returning user because he does not have the client ID. In that case, analytics drops a new cookie with a new client ID. And this client ID will remain persistent for all the activity that a user does in that particular session. right? So we will learn about these things, how Google identifies a new user and a returning user in the practical demonstration. So join me as I take you through the study on new users and returning users. In this practical demonstration, we'll try and learn about how Google increments the count for new visitors and how Google increments the count for returning visitors. Now, before I uh, get into this subject, before we get into the study mode, I want to emphasize on one point. See, if you go back to Google's help center, Google says users is equal to new visitors plus returning visitors. That means Google says the number of users is equal to a sum of new visitors plus returning visitors but in case if you see here the new visitor is 7065 and the returning visitor is 1851 right and when you club both of them when you sum both of them it eventually goes beyond 8900 but when you see the overall users count is 8170 147 so what this tells me when you look at these reports is users is not equal to the sum of new visitors plus returning visitors why this happens is because a new user can be a returning user in that selected time frame. That means here we are looking at this date range which is 22 to 28. In this date range, the user might happen to initiate the first session that is he is coming to the site for the first time. And during that same date range which is 22 to 28, he might happen to come to my site again. Let, let me explain this. If I, am, if I am visiting a site today, that is Jan 1st, right? And again I visit my site in the evening. So what Google does is it tracks my visit that on Jan 1st, when I'm coming in the morning, it will identify me as a new visitor and increment the new visitor count as one. But the same person happens to visit my site in the evening time. So that person who was a new visitor in the morning now will be counted as a returning visitor. That means Google increments the new visitor count as one because this guy is already having the cookie. Now, I have extensively discussed about how Google identifies whether a user is a new visitor or a returning user right if you if you haven't uh, watched my first video in this playlist please go i recommend you to watch that video where i spoke about how google identifies a user now let me give you a quick introduction google identifies a user as new or returning based on the client id and this client id is stored in the underscore ga cookie that is dropped on the browser of a visitor who visits my site now again there, there are many there are many uh, functional functional significance of these cookies i say right because cookies are per domain cookies are per browser per device so cookie information is not shared across different devices and different browsers so if a visitor happens to come to my site the same user happens to come to my site from chrome and the same user happens to come to my site from uh, mozilla firefox the the same user in reality will be counted as two new users because google is not able to share that client id right and to overcome this feature we introduce something called user id that we will learn in my future videos but right now i just want to give you a brief now if you if you go to the google help center uh, it says users is equal to new users plus returning visitors right but when you count both of them here the the, the, the number is simply not same why this happens is is see first you have to understand the date range we are looking at here we are looking at date range which is december 22 to 28 which is last seven days right now so in these seven days if a visitor comes to my site for the first time google will increment the new visitor count and that same person happens to come to my site again on 23rd and 24th. So the subsequent visits of that new user, which was on 22nd, now the subsequent, which is, which is on 23rd and 24th, will be now counted as returning visitors. So that is exactly why 
the the new visitor plus returning visitor count cannot be equal to new users why because the same user or new user can be counted as a returning user as well i repeat a new user can be counted as a returning user as well in that selected time frame and that is why the number can be inflated and that is exactly why you can't add these two numbers and say it will equal to this new visitor right now if you want to identify this i will take you through one report and that report you will find it audiences in audiences i am actually looking at new versus returning visitor i will come back to this report in a while but to give you more clarity let me go through frequency and recency report now frequency and recency report tells you how many times these people have visited your site and how many sessions these people have you know uh, initiated now if you come here we are looking at the count of sessions now so so before i help you understand this report i want to tell you this scenario if a visitor comes to my site on uh, monday right and leaves my site for the first time is coming on monday so that means he's a new visitor on monday and that same person happens to come to my site on tuesday so the same visitor who is coming on tuesday or uh, uh, tuesday will be counted as a returning visitor so the first session happened on monday and the second session from the same user happened on tuesday now when you look at this report what will happen is if you look at this number called 1 this tells you the number of new visitors who visited who visited right so if you see during these 23 to 29 the date range the number of people who visited your site for the first time that is session number 1 that means they don't have a session previous to that right so uh, the the number of sessions is 1 and these many people have uh, these many sessions were initiated these many sessions were initiated now to 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 give you more insights on this what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some segment i'll add one segment here called i'll add one segment called new users i would also add one segment called returning users right so this will give you a little more clarity when you look at this report now you see session number of session is one right these many sessions and number of sessions again you see both of them are equal 7018 7018 why because here the all users and new users metric is same because they are coming to the site for the first time right i give an example if somebody comes to my site on monday and the same person comes to my site on tuesday right first it was first day it will be counted as new visitor second day it will be counted as returning visitor now the second day's visit is counted in the session 2 right so if i have to explain this let me put it this way right so if you are looking if you are looking at uh you know a scenario where a person comes to my site on monday and again comes on tuesday if you looking at that specific date range if you looking at the monday report if i go and put the monday report that users will be counted in the first row because that's the first session right now if you look at the second day if you look at the tuesday report the same user who visited on monday and tuesday now this time he'll be in the second one why because second day it was a returning visitor you getting me right now if you come back and see here all users 1169 but here the new users count is zero because the session 2 that means the number of count 2 if a user has second session that means he already has one session earlier and if he already has one session earlier so that person cannot be counted as a new user that is why you see the number here zero right so one user it, it, when you look at one day report you will find it here and the same user when you look at the tuesday report you will find it here right so what i would recommend you is just go access this demo account add these dimensions uh, 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 segments and you'd find you know the the actual answers but remember you can't club new users plus returning users and say they'll equal this right they not be equal the whole point is a user can be or a new user can be counted as a returning user as well in the selected time frame right now let let's come back to this again there's not one more confusion now i'm creating this video again reason because you know lot of people they actually get confused when you when, when when it comes to identifying what is new users here what is what is what is uh okay let let, let me remove this uh segment let me remove this segment for a while i want to have this segment and then i will add it again so you'll have a better idea This is one of the most confusing topics when you come across web analyst to work on, you know, these kind of reports. So yeah, so you see new users here. The new users count is seven zero one eight. But when you come to the users with the di with the with the dimension type new visitor, it is six nine five zero. So what's the difference here? New users is seven zero one eight, 
and when you come to users metric and you add the dimension user type and in that if you look at new visitor it is 6950 now why is this difference isn't the new visitor dimension of users is not equal to new users metric right to to give you a little more understanding let's i have documented something just come and read this right study on new users and users with new visitor type dimension right that's exactly study on new users and new visitor type dimension for users so that is this one and this one now to understand this what you have to do is you have to come back and read this report now another confusing thing that web analysts sometimes see is that the number of users with the new visitor type which is this particular part that new users with the user type dimension is new visitor right is different from the new users in the same report is different from the new users in the same report that means this number and this number they are not same right on on the same row again it typically appears with website with global appeal on a multi day reports when when you are looking at reports across several days this is generally bound to happen why this is happening is because it happens because of a quick of google analytics tracking at midnight now if you understand sessions i have already spoken about sessions go to my previous videos all sessions get terminated at 12 o'clock in the midnight so if a user comes to my site at 11:50 and still happens to browse through my site after 12 o'clock that is 12:5 12:10 in the morning in the midnight right what google does is at 12 o'clock google terminates the session and all those page views that the user has after 12 o'clock will be counted in the new session so what exactly happens if you understand sessions again you have to understand session is only incremental on the first hit right first hit so what happens at 12 o'clock is google terminates session and google starts a new session right and all those page views will be attributed to the new session now if google does not do that what will happen is the next day page views you will have page views but google will not be able to give you a session because session was initiated on the on the day before which is before 12 o'clock so to keep these reports you know you know tangible to keep this keep reports very clear what google have done is they break the session the terminal session at midnight and they initiate a new session and all the subsequent page views that a user sends to ga server after 12 o'clock will be counted to the new session right you see here i think this was historical done so session count would be accurate for each day sessions are counted on the first day of a session so if a session session span two days and it will only count in the first day that would result in page views on the second day with no session of course yes right because the day the day got completed and that is when google wanted to keep these reports very clear so they terminate the session and begin a new session and all those subsequent hits that you get after 12 o'clock will be attributed to the second session from that same new user so what happens here in this case is the new user count be incremented twice one is before 12 o'clock one is after 12 o'clock i repeat the new users count will be incremented one before 12 o'clock and the same new user count will be incremented after 12 o'clock as well but the user is still one so you will have one user and you will have two new users count and that is exactly what is happening here that is why this new users metric is little higher than compared to the users metric with the dimension type user type which is new visitor right so but remember guys this is very very important again no you don't have to dwell too much right there are other metrics but you have to look at these metrics in context right and and to add more value to it what i would do is i have removed these uh, segments right so i want to add them again so you'll have a little more clarity so let me add these two segments and you come back when you add these two segments again you come back here 7019 and then the new users the new users will still be this one returning users it will be zero because these are new users and they'll not be counted in the returning user segment right right and in the returning users the new users will be zero why right? they are returning users i hope this gives you a lot of insights if you want to really understand i would recommend you to log into the analytics account and go work on each of these things and you'd have little more clarity thank you for watching the entire video continue to watch the other videos in the playlist the next video is even exciting in the next video we would learn about the account we'll log into the adwords account and we'll check and learn the account level settings and also if you haven't subscribed to a channel please subscribe to a channel and also hit on the notification bell icon below so that you would be notified every time we post a new video on this channel remember keep learning keep growing 
and aspire, acquire, achieve. Thank you.